I think it, it's a sort of, if, if I can generalize, there's a sort of mix of anxiety about climate change out of control, technological progress out of control, um, and also the idea um, sometimes that society is, is sick as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the thinking is that science has, um, you know, I, I'm saying what I think, what I understand their understanding to be, because as I, as I, as I alluded to before, I don't think we can blame science. It's just a way of asking questions. But I think they think that um, science has helped diagnose the problem, for example, of climate change, but hasn't found any solutions. And in order to find solutions, we need to come together. We need to um, almost be, almost invoke, a, you know, it's more of a kind of religious, spiritual discussion about what, it, who are we? What, what is our role here? How must we act? Um, what is our relationship with the, with the other species on the planet, with the future, with 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 nature, um, and what is our responsibility towards it? And those are questions that I think they think that science can't answer. I mean, you know, climate change. You have uh, a tension between what individuals can do and what uh, political entities can can do, mm. and uh, there is this myth, in my view, that you can. Uh, in terms of climate change, that if every every individual does is a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. will uh, you will sort out uh, the problem, which most people would say is not serious, because uh, these the political structures between you and the planet they still matter a lot, mm -hmm. uh, and so depending on what China will do, on what the government of China will do, what the government of the United States will do, what the variety of powers will do. That will change a lot. And so there is a, a kind of contradiction between this, again, the empowerment of the individual as the supreme king of the world and the fact that in reality he, she is not. Uh, and then the debate gets further polluted, in my view, by uh, the promise of hell. Uh, in, the, in the 20s and 30s, we were, I mean, uh, humanity was promised paradise, uh, a radiant future. And that shuts the debate. Uh, now we are promised hell. And that also shuts uh, the debate. Yeah. Because if you, if you want uh, a serious discussion on how to deal with things, you have to discuss the pros and cons of a variety of options where the intermediate structures that states are will have to play a role. Mm -hmm. And that does not fit in the, in the sort of dominant mantra of the Greta Thunberg of this world.